Okay, this is Dr. Scott Geller, laser floater expert. I've been doing this for well over 20 years, 25, tens of thousands of laser sessions. And we have a great patient here from Fort Myers, Florida. And you're an interesting case because your right eye is, is diminished in its ability. You have a, 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 a thing called a macular hole, which affects a very small portion of your vision, but your visual acuity is decreased on that side, correct? Correct. And yeah. what were your symptoms before you saw me? Oh, and by the way, let me add, you had bilateral cataract surgery. Did this occur right after the cataract surgery? Yeah, this was, this was um, shortly after the cataract surgery. And it just, it, what happened was I would just get these, almost like a cloud. You know, you could kind of see through it, but it was blurry. It'd make everything blurry and it'd just come and go, just come and go like that. Um, and that's, that's actually why I, I sought you out. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I'd say about 50% of the people I, I do with laser are post-cataract. What happens is that, first of all, cataract surgery is done at an earlier stage. And if you were really disabled from cataract and you came out, you know, the way you were before, you'd be still happy because it's better than what you went in with. But very patients, uh, very often patients are upset that, you know, I would have never had the surgery if I knew this would happen, I mean, that, that kind of story. Uh, did they do the capsulotomy because of that complaint? You had an open membrane, we call a capsulotomy, behind your intraocular lens implant in the left eye. Very often, ophthalmologists, when a patient goes in and says, you know, my vision is blurred, they don't ask the right questions, and they say, oh, we'll do a laser and we'll open up this and you'll be okay. Did that happen with you or not? Um, I don't know if they did what you call They did it. do a laser. Yeah, I but I don't it. know if they did a capsulotomy. They did a capsulotomy. Okay. Uh, that's, that's what causes that radiating okay. ray. But I gave a paper on uh, this uh, a decade ago at an ophthalmology meeting, and it was entitled uh, Unnecessary Capsulotomy Due to a Missed Diagnosis of uh, Eye Floaters. So it's a real thing. I've seen a, a, a lot of it. But anyway, uh, we did three laser sessions, correct? Correct. Yeah. And uh, you had a fairly large, it looked like a cotton candy ball, you know, that went behind the implant and blurred your vision. And now your impression is? It's significantly improved. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and that's the goal of this. Uh, you know, there's always something to see. Uh, the vitreous gel is never 100% clear. But if we can get that opacity either diminished or out of the way, hey, that's a success, right? Yeah, I'm, and, I'm feeling like it's, it was successful, yes. And, and you'll, you're a happy patient, and you're going to have a nice uh, Thanksgiving 2020, the end of COVID, we hope. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. And I enjoy doing this. You're a great patient, and uh, best wishes to you.